Yo, my name's Aaron and today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience of the Jackery Explorer 240 portable power supply. Okay, so um, my experience with this is with busking and street performance. That's the reason I bought it. I bought it because I wanted to be able to play electric guitar in the street and in order to do that with my setup I needed to be able to power my pedal board which is the Boss GT1000. great unit I'll do a review of this and then stick a link in the description when it's when it's done in a separate video but um, so that's what I was trying to power now originally I went down to my local music store and I tried to buy the Volto the green one um, that I've seen people using other buskers using but the problem was is that they weren't being manufactured at the time because of the situation regarding the manufacture of chipboards because of COVID. So I had to search for an alternative and it is quite a bit more expensive. This thing does retail on Amazon presently, April 2022. It retails at 220 pounds or thereabouts, okay? But let's have a little look at how it works. So <clears throat> what have we got here? We've got a few different sockets. It's quite versatile. So you've got the, the lighter, thing that you get in your car i'm not sure what you'd use that for but you also get an adapter so you can use that this one here is so that you can charge it overnight so that's where you put it you only really need one overnight charge to get to 100 percent and these are two usb ports which is particularly handy if you want to say charge your phone while you're busking because for me i have backing tracks on my phone etc so that's also pretty handy and then of course you've got the big one which is the 240 volt power supply now let's have a little look at how this thing works if i push the button which is next to the source of um power that i want to use or the uh the attack the adapter i don't know i'm not an electrical engineer but you get the point so i push this okay it goes green and then the, the display comes on so you might be able to see if i just change the focus here on the camera you'll be able to see that it says 40 percent, and that's showing you how much power is actually left now as for busking and powering my pedal board, I've been told or I've read online that pedal boards are particularly power hungry. Now, what will happen is if I go out with 100% and I do, let's say, let's say I'm powering that pedal board for um, about three to four hours, I will come home with approximately 70% power. So it's only actually used 30%. Now you might be asking, am I powering anything else? Because I'm busking, do I have a speaker? Yes, but the speaker has its own power. So I'm literally only ever powering the pedal board on my phone at the most, okay. So I've set up the pedal board just down here and um, I'm gonna plug it in and then I'm gonna show you the pedal board working. Okay, so the plug's in. The green light here is on, which means the switch is on. That's essentially the same as the switch that you have in the wall, on the wall in your house, um, except there's a green light on this unit. And then I'm gonna switch on my pedal board. Now, I'm not gonna be able to hold both at the same time. So I'm gonna pick the pedal board up, which is plugged in to the power supply, switch it on, and as you see, the pedal board powers up nicely. Can you see the display there? And everything is working just fine. So I imagine that you could probably, um, if you have a, a speaker that needs to be plugged in, you could um, get an extension lead and turn that into two, or you might have to buy, I don't know, they've got other models of this as well. I think there is one with two plugs, but you'd have to check that. Anyway, you would be able to power your speaker, your phone, your pedal board, and probably something else as well for a good few hours before it ran out, maybe even like a full day, because if it's getting, if it's only using 30% of the power um, to do four hours on a pedal board, you sort of make a rough guess that it can power other things for a good length of time as well. So yeah, that is it. That is pretty much it, I suppose. Uh, other than other than those important things, um, it's it's pretty damn light. It's it's not, you know, you wouldn't want to drop it on your foot, <laughs> but it's um, it's a good it, it's it's a good weight but it's not so heavy that you can't hold it with one hand and it's not gonna like overload your busking trolley uh, with weight and get on your nerves in that respect. So overall, I do recommend it. I do absolutely recommend this unit 
if you have a guitar pedal board like mine, obviously, if you're just going with an acoustic guitar, you don't need a pedal board and you'll probably just get a self-powering amp like the Cube or the Bose S1. Again, I'll do a review of the Bose S1. Let me know if you want a review of the Bose S1 and I'll do a separate video and stick a link to that in the description. That's it. So um, thanks for stopping by my channel if this is the first video you've ever seen. And uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos as well. I've got a ton of guitar lessons on here. And I've also got some videos of my playing and some promo and that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!